Hello and welcome back to Citizen Speak. My name is Garrett Martin. Thank you for listening. Uh, ben Carson has recently come out and he's saying that he's going to put a little bit more distance in between himself and his uh, his advisor who had stated that Ben Carson doesn't know anything about foreign policy. And it's true. Uh, the advisor's name is uh, Armstrong. Uh, Armstrong Williams to be exact. But uh, Ben Carson says, Armstrong is an independent agent. He happens to be a friend of mine. He has nothing to do with the campaign, nothing formal. Except for Armstrong will go to the press and put in stories, or he'll advise uh, people on his staff. Uh, You know, just non-formal things. (laughs) Um... It's basically because Armstrong said that Ben Carson is a fool. Not his exact words, but that was the uh, the gist of it. Uh, because Ben Carson, in an interview, uh, he couldn't name a an ally. If we were over in the Middle East and we needed to call on the help of an ally, who would who would we contact? Ben Carson couldn't name a single country, and uh, the question was phrased to him two different ways other than the first time and he still couldn't answer um it's very similar to uh <laughs> to herman cain i don't know if you guys remember the uh ooze becky 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 stan stan <laughs> but uh yeah when you have people who don't sit down and they don't study politics or they're not in this position to learn the leaders around the world or to understand the situations that America faces in the Middle East, these are the type of candidates that you get. You get candidates who are completely ignorant on the subject of foreign policy. You get candidates who think that, oh, no, 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 I'm a great person and the American people will love me and I'll learn everything once I get inside of the office. Not going to happen. (laughs) <laughs> you can't win the popular vote by just knowing that you're a good surgeon or that you ran a pizza company really well or that you've made millions of dollars and, and you're great. You're just a great person. Um, no, it just it doesn't work that way. Uh, the American people, they know that we need somebody who actually understands foreign policy, who actually understands the economy and who has real answers and real solutions to the problems that we face. We're not here to waste four years of our time in hopes that somebody can line their pockets and make things just a little bit better for themselves when they get out. No. (laughs) We need somebody who's in office who's going to make things better for us, who's going to make things better for the world. And Ben Carson, I'm sorry, sir, but that is not you. And I'm glad that Ben Carson is going to be slowly fading away. He is just the bottom barrel of a candidate. He's barely above people like Ted Cruz and Mike Huckabee. But he's pretty pretty lowbrow as far as candidates go. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of sad to see that he's against listening to his advisors. He's of the mindset that he knows everything. I'm sorry, Ben Carson, but you sure don't know everything. So that's all I got for on, on uh, Ben Carson here. Thank you for listening, and make sure that you find me on Twitter at SitSpeak, that's C-I-T-Z Speak. Uh, make sure that you like and comment on the podcast, and ask me questions if you have any questions on anything. Thank you for listening.